Welcome back to Post Time, the final Delaware Standard Bread Breeders Fund events for 2010 took place recently at Dover Downs. Let's see which first state freshman graduated at the top of their class. In the two-year-old Philly Trotting Division, it was Overnight Command who left alertly from post eight and led her field around the Dover Downs Oval to take home the winner's share of the $100,000 purse. With Jim Moran in the sulky, the daughter of CR Commando won in 2-0-2-1. So Les, she has the eight hole. Um, what's the game plan? Exactly what happened? I told the driver to keep her trotting. Yeah, because that's really important with her. Well, she's got a motor, and I, don't, I didn't really worry about what kind of trip she got, but I just if she stayed trotting, I think she had enough motor to do it. Yeah, when she's, like, good, she's really, really good. And when she's bad, she's bad. Because, well, <laughs> you know, she ends up going off stride every once in a while. Well, she's had a couple ailments, and, and uh, she gets out of whack a little bit, but... She stayed trotting the night. Yeah, she did. Um, I just had Jim Moran, by the way, whisper in my ear that the reason she goes off stride is the trainer. See, that's why I need another camera shooting. I need, you know how people have eyes behind their head? I need a camera behind my head. <laughs> well, like I told you out there a while ago, too, after that race, I, I would have kissed him if he wasn't so ugly. <laughs> well, on that note, we're going to check out the next race. Thanks, Les. <laughs> all right, bye. The event for the two-year-old Colt Trotter saw all clear. Cross the wire first with owner and trainer Carlo Palacino in the sulky. The CR Commando Colt made up a ton of ground that last half of the mile to win by a head in 2.03. He makes a couple bobbles in the beginning of the race, but then comes home like a freight train, yeah. going past the stands. I mean, there's no way you thought you had this race one, did you? Well, when I saw first captain run, I made a break first, and then I seen first captain run, and the other couple on the front end, I figured if I could get to him, I had a shot. <laughs> I mean, he really raced good. Wow, that's impressive. You must be really so happy. Oh, yeah, very excited, very, very excited. Now, tell me about him a little bit. I noticed in the winter circle, his ears were like up, like right. such a cute little bunny. I yeah. mean, he must be He's fantastic. a good feeling horse. He's a real big horse and he's nice feeling and uh, he's always alert and looking around. I mean, ever since I bought him, he was like that. You know, he's just a big, good feeling horse. And your wife seems to adore him. Oh, she loves him. <laughs> <laughs> and your mom's here tonight. Yeah, my mom's here, my brother, everybody's here. <laughs> awesome. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Winning the $100,000 final for two-year-old Philly Pacers, it was Badlands Jenna, who has just been phenomenal in these Delaware Sire Stakes events. The daughter of Badlands Hanover went wire to wire to win by three lengths with Ben Stafford Jr. in the bike. I always get quotes from your dad. How about you giving me something? What did you think about the horse racing tonight? Well, I think he had a lead. Well, yeah, he had a lead early in the race and I knew he would keep it and he kept it for the whole entire time and that's about it. <laughs> no, no, that's great. You definitely had confidence in your dad then tonight, right? Yeah. Okay, all right. No driver changes? No. No, okay, good, good. <laughs> Smart answer. Christmas is around the corner. Yeah. All right, thanks, Ben. You're welcome. A huge long shot came through in the rich two-year-old Colt pacing final. The overwhelming favorite, Powerful Mist, wasn't able to keep that lead going, while con artist Hanover came from behind to win in 156-4. The Badlands Hanover Colt paid $425.40 to win with Eric Adele at the lines. Tell me about the race. What did you think about it? I mean, goodness, by the half mile pole. I mean, you must have been like, well, maybe a check. Yeah, well, that's all we were hoping for. I mean, I, I mean, well, you're always hoping for a win. But, I mean, with the other horses that were in this race, honest to God, I never. I didn't even have my family come, so I was like, we might get a third, you know? <laughs> so, to have this happen, it was just, oh my God. <laughs> um, well, he paid $425, so did you at least have $2 on him? No, Donald? I didn't, I heard. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, tell me a little bit about him, uh, you know, and your relationship with him. Oh my gosh, he is my baby. He's, he is, um... This horse right here, when they first gave him to me, 
I tried so hard to give him away because he bit me, he kicked me, he stepped on me, he um, walked all over top of me, everything. But he's just like a, he's a big oaf. And we've developed a rapport and now it's just, you know, once he, he started getting ready to race and everything else, and then they were like, oh, we could give him to such a mistake yet. But now, <laughs> he's mine now, you know, he missed your chance for that. But at least stuck, I stuck with him and he's, he's stuck with me and I love him. Yeah. <laughs> I can't believe this. Thanks so much for hanging out with me for the past half an hour. I had a great time. I hope you did too. Come out to Dover Downs. We've got great live racing six nights a week. It's all taking place Monday through Thursday. First race post times at 4.30 p.m. Then our weekend post time for Saturday and Sunday is at 5.30 p.m. Have a wonderful week. I hope to see you at the track and God bless. Post time is taped in front of a live studio audience.